Praise the Lord. That is too small. I said, Praise the Lord. It's testimony time. And in Job chapter 9, verse 10, the Bible tells us our God, which doeth great things, past finding out, yea, and wonders without number, is here. He has been doing wonders in our midst. I want to listen to testimonies tonight. Let's listen to the first testifier from the Alpha location. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, I said, praise the Lord. I am Dr. Monijo Sunday, a consultant family physician with sub-specialization in critical care medicine and emergency medicine. I'm here to introduce one of our brothers whom the Lord has done something for, and you are going to listen to him now, he is Brother Olabiyi Sesson. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God because he healed me. He opened up my blood heart some 15 months ago. I want to thank God. Uh, he started uh, on 29th of August. Sunday precisely, we were having the August edition of the GCK. And uh, suddenly, I, I started feeling... I couldn't breathe again. I was dying. I, my life was heading away. I had to tell my brethren, please take me to the hospital quickly. And I was taken to a nearby uh, hospital. They couldn't help. I was referred to a uh, State uh, Teaching Hospital. They couldn't help. They called me that it was beyond what they could do, that if I could try abroad, that's a very Babala multi-system hospital. I was taken to that place in ambulance, hooked up to the oxygen. And when I got there, they were reluctant. They didn't want to take me. They said I should have come about three, day, uh, three hours, but it was three days after time, at that time. But eventually, they took me in. I had to be uh, uh, stabilized, so they had to take me to the ICU, the intensive care unit there. And I was there for about two, uh, two weeks. They were rescuing me, doing everything to make sure that I was stable because I was to go for an, uh, 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 an operation of the heart. So after two weeks, I, I came out from the ICU. My picture when I came out was, that, that was my picture, when I came out from the ICU, and I was stabilized at that time. But the doctor told me that my king had a blocked heart, and I should still go on for the operation. So two weeks later, I, they asked me to come. It was another GCK, that September edition. On Sunday, they asked me to come to the hospital, and I was there on 26th Sunday uh, uh, for the, for the, uh, to, to wash me so that I could have the operation the next day. And uh, when I got there, I had the privilege of connecting with the GCK uh, message of our Father in the Lord, and that title, I, I cannot forget it, Jesus yesterday, today, and forever. And when I listened to it, the man of God said, what Jesus did for when he was alive, he could still do it now. And he encouraged us when he wanted to lead the prayer that we should not open our eyes yet. Just tell yourself you are healed now, and then you open your eyes, and then I believe on the hospital bed. Then in the evening, the, uh, the nurses came and gave me the apron for the operation the next day. So the, early in the morning, they came to wheel me to the theater, the cat lab. When I got there, they said I would go through a test again to see whether the operation, I mean, the, what they will do. And they placed me on the operation table, and I was there. They did the angiography. That's the, the, they wanted to look at my heart and see what was there. Lo and behold, everything was clear, <laughs> completely clear. The doctor said, ah, what happened? Didn't you do it? The other doctor were arguing inside. Yeah, the doctor said, we did the test. The Lord confirmed it. The doctor even said, the Agua doctor said, he said, the, there are times God, something, God does things that you cannot explain. I said, this is divine solution. Because that was the divine solution GCK at that time. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God. I want to thank my father and the Lord. Thank you because you are able to represent the Lord. Now, I mean, thank you, sir. Jam your hands together for Christ. This is just, this is just to whet your appetite for tonight. 